Tonight, Galen Culver has the story of a man in Elk City who's been looking at the skies for 30 years, and he's not an astronomer. He's a UFO investigator who, a few months back, began hosting his own radio show that's heard all over the world. Uh, audio, please give us a check. It isn't one of those western Oklahoma evenings a weatherman would spend much time watching. About 30 seconds. Okay, we're ready. But at one house in the town of Elk City, another kind of inveterate sky watcher is busy. Master tape is Getting ready to talk with a world of like-minded radio and computer listeners who mostly share his views that men and birds aren't the only things flying around up there. Your host this evening, Mr. Jim Hickman. Over to you, Jim. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Wake Up USA UFO Study. My name's Jim Hickman. A lot of people on our show come to the show because they're trying to find out what is, okay. what's going on, what's the truth. I'm going to be speaking at the Alternate Realities Conference 2003. The rest of his house might seem pretty mundane, but inside his den. Okay, all right, Jim, let's bring instant karma to the microphone. You're next. Go ahead, you're on the air. Jim Hickman keeps a the... treasure trove of 30 years' worth of research, a couple of books he's written, and, of course, the portal through which he now talks with the globe about UFOs. What do you think it was? You think it was actually a, a spacecraft, or you think... Uh, those... Tonight we had uh, probably between 50 to 100,000 people uh, listening. Um, as far as in the chat room, we probably had 200 people or more uh, who were there to ask questions. Our guest tonight is Dr. Jesse Marcel. Over two hours on a Wednesday night, Jim hosts two guests. One, a witness on the Roswell incident. Just falls apart. The other, an expert on UFOs and religion. On uh, UFOs and the Bible. You can laugh if you want to. Jim is used to a certain amount of ridicule. And what he claims is a bit of government skullduggery. Uh, yeah, they're out there and they are monitoring us, so... Uh... We want to say hi to everybody in the government. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> but he is serious about his chosen field of study. What our goal is to try and get the scientific community interested in this subject, to look at it without giggling, without the, the, the laughter and all this, look at it as a serious subject and, and, uh, and study it. Which means that we ain't the only ones here. As a seven-year-old farm kid, Jim saw his first UFO. He's been after more ever since, searching the night skies of western Oklahoma for blinking lights that might not come from us. Uh, there's got to be something to this story. He's always been convinced we're not alone. These days, at least, he's directly connected to people who feel 